This is a story of Shalom. And what is Shalom? It is a Hebrew word, and it's often translated as peace. But it's also so much more. It can mean wholeness or health. It means that you are complete just as you are. When you experience Shalom, you lack nothing. You aren't tired. You aren't sick. You aren't hungry. You are just you. You are complete. This creates a peace within yourself. Shalom was the state that the world was created in. Day one, God created light. Day two, the water and sky appeared. On day three, land and sea appeared. And God looked at how the light shone upon the land and the sea. And he watched the water flow against the beautiful beaches. And everything was working perfectly in unity. And God called it good. And then God created plants of all kinds. And God looked at them and saw that each plant was absorbing the light and finding nourishment just as he had planned. Each plant produced seeds that would fall to the ground or get carried by the wind. And then, when they were in the ground, they would produce a new plant. Everything was working perfectly together, and so God called it good. On day four, God created the sun, and the sun provided warm light that nurtured the earth, and the plants absorbed more nutrients, and they thrived. God also created the moon and the stars. And the moon circled the earth, and it caused the ocean waters to rise and to fall. And all of this was part of God's perfect planning. And God looked at it, and he called everything good. On the fifth day, God created fish and birds of all kinds. These creatures lived off the plants that were thriving in the world. Everything was now dependent on everything else, and God called this pattern good. On the sixth day, God created all kinds of animals. Each animal had others of its kind, and they joined together and continually produced more animals. These animals were created to learn and to grow and to adapt through a process that is extremely complex. But God knows every detail. And God looked at this complex process, and he said that it was, you guessed it, good. And then, God created human beings, and he created them in his own image. The Creator created us so that we could love him and he could love us. And then, God looked back on everything that he had made, and he did not call it good but he called it very good. And it was very good because we were in a state of shalom. This is not the way that it is today. The world is still a wonderful place, but it is broken. We are plagued by earthquakes, plagued by floods, plagued by famine, plagued by wars, and even plagued by, well, plagues. The entire world has lost the shalom that God intended. And so have we as individuals. We are not connected to God. And all of this has been happening for a very long time. So God made a promise with a man named Abraham. He promised to make him into a nation of people who would bring great blessings to the entire world. These people would help bring Shalom back into the world. God made this promise to Abraham with an oath. God told Abraham to gather some animals. And Abraham was told to cut them in half. And each animal was filled with candy. Well, that may not be true. 
but doesn't it make the story sound a little more pleasant? Now, to us, this sounds really weird, but back in Abraham's day, this is what two people would do when they make an oath. They would cut these animals up, and they would spread them apart, and then they would walk together between the halves of the animals, and they would say to each other, If I break my promise, may I end up like these animals. And so what we would expect in this story is for God to walk with Abraham between these animals. But that's not what happened. God, representing himself as a smoking pot and a burning torch, walked between these animals alone. This means that God was saying that he was willing to take the punishment upon himself, even if it's us who deserve to be punished. And Christmas is God beginning to fulfill this promise. Jesus was born into this world, and he taught us all about shalom. Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And this is what we are supposed to be. We are meant to be called children of God, because we act like God. God created everything in the world to be dependent on everything else, and so we need to let other people depend upon us. Jesus worked so hard to give us shalom that he served until he gave his life. Remember the promise that God made to Abraham? Jesus fulfilled that promise. Every time we ruin the peace of this world, Jesus takes our punishment. Every time we call people names, Jesus takes our punishment. Every time we refuse to help those in need, Jesus takes our punishment. This is our God. This is the God that brought us light when we were lost in the darkness of pain. This is the God who brought us joy when we were lost in despair. This is the God who brought us life when we were dying. Because of all of this, we can finally find shalom. We can be whole. We can be people of peace. And this is why Christmas is a time of peace.